We're about to see the robo taxi. We have the heat pump. It's the heat pump. So we have the basic model three with the ludicrous seats. But the thing that we are here for, the thing that I am so excited to see, it, it used to be the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck was cool, but you know what's even cooler? Like you have this front one, and then you have this big one. Big one, front one. But like this one's closer, so obviously it's gonna be like the same size in the camera. But I'm pretty sure the back one's bigger. Regardless, they're huge, dude. It looks like it. I wonder if it's the tire. No, no, no. I feel like the aero cover covers some of the tire. It has to, right? There's no way the sidewall's that thing. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one is slightly bigger. Or, or the fronts are just more inflated. Or less inflated, but it looks fine. So the rim definitely covers some of the tires. I like that, that's pretty sleek. <laughs> How's it feel? It's nice. It feels like Elon Musk. My god, that screen is huge. There's a camera right there. Go on this way, right? Like the whole side. It looks like, oh, there's one There's one right there. It's between the hinge and the strut. Between the hinge and the strut, there's a camera. Yeah, straight up. That is a camera. In between the strut and the hinge. The dash looks very similar to the Model 3s, the new Model 3s that are out. Two cup holders. I don't know how comfortable those seats are. Just two? Just two cup holders, that's all you get. Oh, so it's only for two? Yeah, there's probably no frunk space either, huh? Like why would you open the frunk in a taxi? So it's all in the back. There's just seats too. It doesn't even look like there's not even a seatbelt for the middle person, so there's not even a bench seat. You can't even fit three people. So yeah. what if it's like three seats? Sucks for you, better order another one. Two Ooh. rubble cabs? Look at the fit though. Panel gap, panel gap. Tim, describe it in one word. It's soft. It's soft. Okay. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at the Cyber Tessie. Woo! Okay, first impressions, there's a lot of leg room. There's tons of leg room, right? I think there's a lot of leg room. This screen is massive. Look at this dog! It is huge! And there's like some, it's like a rubbery texture on here. You have the ambient lighting in here. Assuming that these are vents, we do have sun visors still. Look at that. You don't have mirrors though, you can't look at yourself. You have dome lights? Oh look, these are, you just press them. I wonder if that's a speaker? And then it's just flat back here. There's a ton of carpet. This is all like felt, kind of carpet. What are these buttons for? I'm scared. What do the buttons do? Oh, they're window switches. Oh, can I touch it? Can I close the door? Dang it. But it does close. It does close. Okay. Once you buckle your seatbelt, it'll close automatically. The intent is like a chauffeur-esque experience. Okay. As much as possible, we don't want you to interact no with the bike. As you approach it, the door will open. It knows you're coming. It's connected to your phone when you sit. Fasten your seatbelt, door closes, all you gotta say, go take it to... And from looking at it, yeah. from the back, there does not look like there's a sub trunk. There's not sub -trunk. Okay, and then the front. No front. Okay, that's what I was thinking, because it's like so exactly. compact. 
I know it's smaller than Model S. Yeah. What is it compared to like a Model 3? Even smaller. Smaller than a 3? Okay. 10 to 15 percent shorter than a Model 3 and about 20 percent narrower than a Model 3. Oh, narrower too. The seats are actually pretty comfortable. There don't seem to be any seat controls on the side, so it's basically like you're sitting in a bench. They're not uncomfortable though. They're nice. This is just a reminder though, you only get the two seats and then a cup holder in the middle. I guess you could fit like a third person, but it's hard plastic in the middle and those are also your window switches, so your butt might accidentally roll down the windows and you'll have no cup holders. It's very spacious for the legs, but not for more than two people. There's no glass on this one. That one's just exposed. The arrow covers are like, there's this piece, then there's this piece. And they're two separate pieces. That is interesting. It's covering so much of the tire. The LED lights here, lights on top, that goes across the whole thing. Assuming that's a button. There's the latch, latch, no sub trunk. It is so narrow in here. Jeez. That is so flipping wild. And absolutely zero steering wheel inside of here. Look at the back, too. Zip tied. So it all goes down here. This is the strut, and this is just the hinge right here. Very simple design, and then just plastic on top. That is the Robo Taxi. This one feels more of like a vinyl. That's cool, it's like wrapped around the whole camera. This is wrapped very well. Light bar, and then you have more lights down here. Oh, look at that front. Solid. That is the Robo Taxi. Tesla Cybercab is flipping sick. We got to go inside of it and touch it. We didn't get to drive it, but what? We got to sit in it. We got to feel everything about it. And there are a lot of details on this that we experienced today, right now, that were not released before. Stay tuned for that, because this, this thing is pretty insane. And so that wraps up our video on the Tesla Cybercab. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this thing is cool? Do you think it's not cool? Would you trust this over a normal driving car? Because this has no steering wheel. And to get there's already like Waymo's and stuff out there, but Tesla does things differently for the better, for the worse. They do things differently and you gotta appreciate it. All right, y'all, there will be more Cybercat videos, more Cybertruck videos, more Tesla videos. So make sure you stay subscribed for all that. I appreciate every single one of you joining me out here. You guys are flipping awesome. Later, y'all.